Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today I would like to explain deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. This is called DALK for short and it's an alternative to a full thickness cornea transplant where this type of transplant only removes and changes the outer layers of the cornea and leaves the inner layer intact. This can be a great procedure for people with keratoconus or other people who have scars of the cornea which only involve the outer layers. So as you remember, the cornea is the clear shield that covers over the front of the eye. And with this type of transplant, the inner layers are preserved, which has some advantages, we think, of lowering the chance of rejection and it may make these transplants last longer. Also, since we don't enter into the eye with the transplant, and we leave those back layers, we think that it gives more strength and stability to the eye moving forward. There's been cases where people have been hit in the eye and probably would have busted open a regular corneal transplant, but their transplant remained intact with the dock. Also, in people that get to keep their own inner layer, we think that that natural inner layer may last longer than a layer that comes from a full thickness transplant then hopefully again we'll continue to keep the life of these transplants going better. So this can be performed uh, a couple different ways, but probably the most common technique that's used for it is called the big bubble technique. Now with this, we inject air into the cornea and creates a bubble inside the cornea. This bubble is intended to push the back layers down and then pushes the front layers forward some to actually get separation. This is very interesting because, as you may have heard recently, they have just discovered the sixth layer of the cornea called Dua's layer. And they were using this type of technique with the big bubble in order to prove this. Because it turns out, when the bubble pushes down the inner layers, this newly discovered layer seems to mostly stay with the back layers. And it's actually a pretty strong layer compared to the ones that are underlying it, the endothelium and decimase membrane. And then once we preserve those and then take all of the other top layers off, we put the new corneal transplant back on. So with that, patients can potentially have a little bit quicker recovery and they may be able to have their sutures removed from the cornea sooner than a regular full thickness corneal transplant. And uh, like I said, hopefully it may last longer. Now there are uh, times when we are attempting to perform DOC but these inner layers, they can become perforated and we may have to switch to a full thickness corneal transplant. Uh, if this happens, then we just proceed as if we do the regular full thickness corneal transplant, but um, sometimes this is just the way it goes. So if you have any questions about this newer type of corneal transplantation, it's probably been more popularized, especially in the last 10 years, uh, please post, we'll be happy to answer your questions and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.